Hello there, Taylor with the Melody Emperor Report. Tropical Cyclone Zane has been a bit of a bastard, right? On the, it's Primero de Mayo to be followed by Dos de Mayo. Anyhow, Australia is supposed to be out of, uh, you know, tropical cyclone season now. It's now May there. You know, the United States, everybody's still stuck in the past. Right. But so we've got Zane. If we go to the Storm Tracker page, we can see the satellite view of Zane, the two different satellite loops. So, yes. The category two per the Bureau of Meteorology and their site, and they've got the forecast track map, which also shows you here are the color coded areas for the areas that are in a warning zone. There's also the tropical cyclone advice page where you can see where more information on the site clone warning such as destructive winds and the fact that there are gales and the tides rising and stuff like that so and all out of season which just goes to show you know the season is just you know the general guidelines things still happen speaking of seasons you know it's about to be well it's 15 ish days away from it being cyclone season out in the eastern pacific perhaps it's not called cyclone season it will be called hurricane season because that's what the national hurricane center calls them right and then we've got this thing with what is it 92 wp which has now been deemed worthy enough to have an actual low chance put on it which is still not very worthy so will this thing turn into something i have no idea maybe maybe not so back in the land of april in the united states right 15 percent chance of winds and hail today tornado is apparently not a threat all of the severe thunderstorm warnings that were in effect as of the time I loaded the page were for Florida. So let's take a look at the map. So this would be the wind map. So wind probability of winds 58 miles per hour are greater today. So there's Florida's threat. But the actual biggest threat is for those states. Similar-ish with the hail. This would be hail one inch or larger. So it actually what, extends a little bit more back this way and then drops the area for Texas. But Florida again with the hail chance. And then tornado-wise, less than 2% all areas. Tomorrow, tiny little area. Well, not tiny, tiny. Just an area in Texas for the actual slight risk. But the 5% actually you know, covers quite a few things. But after that, at least as of now, days 3, days 4 through 8, predicted to be okay. At least as of now, you know, it changes all the time, yes. So if you the TV.com is the official homepage of the screencast. Wicked Wix is W-I-C-K-E-D-W-X.com. And Cyclocane is C-Y-C-L-O-C-A-N-E.com. I frankly have no idea why there are two things on that. But yes, this is where Zane is headed. So if you're in the area of it, pay attention. As you probably already are. There you go. That is it for today. Hopefully you're staying safe out there.